Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Just a really quick video uh, for you. I had posted um, about a week or two ago, probably a week or so ago, um, some pens that I had picked up from jetpens.com. And uh, these are the Zig Clean Color Dot Pens. And I purchased these open stock. I think they have um, where you can buy sets of colors as well, but um, I liked the idea of purchasing them open stock so I could choose the colors I wanted. Um, I chose, let's see, Fawn, Denim, and Platinum. And uh, Jill Norwood had left a comment on that video and was interested in how these um, pens work. So I told her I would do a quick video on that. So basically what they are is a two-ended pen. Um, the first end is like a squishy, um, wide-tipped marker. And then the other end is just basically a journaling um, tip, 0.5 millimeters journaling tip. And um, so what I picked them up for uh, was to use them in my um, scheduling, uh, my calendar, and um, my to-do lists and things like that. And then also um, I wanted to use them in my garden journal. So I'll just show you an example. You can already see that I've done several of them here. I was basically testing the paper to see if they went through this paper. Um, so that I would know which which paper they worked okay with. So um, I'll just show you with the blue since it'll be a little easier to see it. So again, it has just the big, um, it's kind of squishy uh, tip at the end there. Um, and basically what you do is just um, determine how big you want your dots and change the amount of pressure that you apply. So if you want a large dot, you just apply more pressure. And if you want smaller dots, you just apply less pressure and it makes perfect little circles. And I love perfect little circles. Um, so I thought these would be kind of fun to use uh, just as, you know, like little task markers um, on my to-do lists or, you know, if I'm going to be doing some tracking of anything, like, um, you know, maybe I want to track my um, protein shakes or my vitamins or, you know, whatever. These would be good as a little tracker pin as well. So very, very fun. I thought they were cute and uh, I hadn't actually seen them before when I ran across them on the website. So um, I picked up a few to play with and thought they would be fun. So I think they work really great. Um, so that's what those are, Jill. And while I have you guys here, I'll just give you a little peek here. Um, Vicki, I have your bookmark that you've made me tucked into my journal here. Um, and speaking of journal, my garden journal, which is this black notebook here. Um, has nothing in it yet but a ink test page where I was testing um, what kind of inks I could use without it having bleeding, uh, without it bleeding through. And um, other than that, my uh, garden journal is empty and uh, except for the title page. So I did get that done. But basically I wanted to um, uh, go ahead and sketch out the layout of the garden, mark where I've planted things, how things grow, um, just keep track of like the different types of vegetables and things that and flowers that I grow. Um, and then year after year, keep adding to this journal so that I can learn from my garden and uh, see how it progresses each year. So that was the intent for this garden journal. I just picked it up this earlier this summer and um, I may not get to um, creating it until um, after all the uh, summer harvest, but um, it'll give me something to do this winter, right? <laughs> And then while I have you here too, um, this is my uh, notebook that I keep uh, photos of Oliver in and I do a little bit of journaling um, around the photos. And uh, so I've just been keeping this little book of kind of like a, you know, Oliver scrapbook, um, but nothing, you know, like an 8x12 album or 12x12 album or anything like that. Just this little um, traveler's notebook size. Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> So, and then I just do a little bit of journaling and decorating and things like that. Um, so, but that is that. And um, for the photos, I've been using the uh, Canon Ivy. And it doesn't take any ink. Um, and it connects via Wi-Fi to your phone or your iPad. Um, and it uses little 2 by 3 inch uh, thermal paper, which you just drop into the printer. And once you send the photo to the printer, it processes it and then spits it out very kind of slowly um, and then you're left with basically a little two by three photo which is what I've been 
using in the book here. And the other thing that I like is uh, it's a small size, so it fit really nicely in this size journal. But I also like that I can crop, crop them down um, and print them as squares. So basically it's still the two by three, but it's only the width of the two by three. And then I just basically cut off the remainder and then I can, you know, do standard size photos as well. This is like, it would be like a typical four by six size, um, but you know, obviously shrunk down. So, but I just thought it was a fun way to kind of document um, his, uh, his life with us. So talk about spoiled. <laughs> But um, anyways, I'm going to use the same printer when I document the garden. I thought it'd be fun to be able to um, print out some pictures and um, just kind of include those with my garden journal. So that's what I've been using. Um, here's the paper if you're interested. You can buy it basically in packs of um, 20 and a pack of 50. Uh, and it comes in these little packets. So basically you can open one packet at a time and drop the full contents of this little packet down into the printer. Um, it comes with a blue calibration sheet that you run through first, and then the remaining 10 sheets uh, are, are sheets that you can print photos on. So it's super easy and fun to use. Um, it's a little bit expensive. Um, it's about, I don't know, almost 50 cents maybe a print. Um, so it's fairly expensive, but I think it's worth it. It's the convenience. It prints really great photos, and uh, I think it's really fun to be able to pop them into a journal. So Anyways, Jill, I hope this was helpful, and uh, sorry I went on about all different kinds of things instead of just these pens, but uh, I think uh, that's pretty much all I've got to say about them. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!